Hey YouTube, I just wanted to make a quick video to show you the couple of modifications that I've made uh, to my ENCO 4x6 bandsaw that I had not seen before. And I'm, I'm not good at very many things, so I was hoping to see um, somebody who was good at this uh, post a zero stop modification. And I hadn't seen one, so I had to come up with my own. It works, uh, it's just not very elegant. It's a piece of square tubing um, that I cut and uh, I drilled and tapped a couple of quarter inch holes to hold it down. And then there's a 5 16 bolt through it. I know the walls aren't very thick, but really it's just a stop. It's not, there's not a lot of torque on it, so I think it'll be fine. Um, I also couldn't see having tools at hand to make these adjustments. So I put these cam locks on here. Um, these are from Rockler, but I'm sure you can get them anywhere. Um, just to make it easy. This one was difficult. The bolt underneath is 3 eighths of an inch, and I couldn't find a 3 eighths cam lock. What I did find was this little guy here. Um, it's used to adapt a 3 eighths hole in a tripod to uh, put a quarter inch screw in there. So I, I took a couple of these and it has a little lip on it. I don't know if you can see um, with this camera. I'll try and get in close. That's uh, too close. The, <laughs> on the top here there's a little bit of a lip that I had to grind off and I put two of them down inside the hole um, on the, the piece that underneath there that guides uh, that part of the clamp. So I ground off the the edges here and then I screwed two of them down inside and essentially made it a quarter inch hole um, so that I could use this quarter inch uh, cam, cam to, to lock it into place. And then I could just use a piece of quarter inch uh, threaded rod. I also did one other thing. Um, I, I love this idea um, of having a 45 degree um, point there so I could just put something on against here and, and against the edge here and I've got a 45 degree angle. But I didn't trust myself really to drill and tap a hole on one shot in exactly the right place. So I got my micrometer out and um, my digital caliper and I, I put the hole um, half the distance of this 3 a threaded rod and um, half the diameter, really half the diameter of this sleeve. So that if some adjustment needed to be made, I could adjust the sleeve. I could, I could get a thicker sleeve or I could weld a little onto it or I could grind a little off of it and then weld it in place and I'd be done. And in fact, it came out really close, close enough for, for me anyway. So I was lucky with that, but I hadn't seen a, a sleeve over one just to make it adjustable. So that's, um, that's the extent of it. Um, there's nothing else that I've done here that I hadn't seen before. So thank you everyone else for, for putting up your videos. They really helped me uh, get the saw running and, and getting it accurate. All right.